Hey guys, welcome to another video and today I'm going to be reviewing Scream 6. Now, in this movie, the kills were much better. Probably some of the best in the entire franchise. Sydney's not in this one, but um, the movie doesn't need her. The movie wouldn't be good if she was in it or not, I don't think. Um, but it was kind of shitty the way they just mentioned where she was and, you know, that was it. Um, yeah, the kills were good. Some of the most brutal ones. Um, Ghostface was more um, tougher, more brutal. Um, it, much more physical and much more um, disturbing as well. Uh, there's a shot in the trailer where he has the shotgun and that seems pretty good. Um, when it comes to the killers, I'm not going to spoil who the killers are. Uh, in my, through my eyes, I, I expected it. So it was a bit disappointing. The killers. Um, but, uh, yeah. But the characters... Um, Got some more good character development, some relationships emerge. Um, yeah, the new characters are good. Um, wish Samara Reaving was uh, in it a bit more. Um, but yeah, it was a good, it was a good movie. Uh, the script was solid. Um, you can definitely tell the amount of money they've put in this one. I mean. Just filming in New York, I think you need a big budget anyway. Even if, oh, they may have not even filmed in New York. Um, but compared to other slasher movies that have filmed or tried to be different, you know, this one is the best. You know, it's not Jason Takes Manhattan. It's not that. It's 100% better than that. Um, yeah, Courtney Cox is back as Gail. She's brilliant as always. Um, and yeah, it, w it was good. They added some new elephant e elephants? <laughs> elements into it, um, which was a were a bit wacky. Um, but yeah, there was no really... Well, from my opinion, or my view, there wasn't any big twists. Um, but yeah, I'm off to get into the spoiler. Okay, spoiler part of the movie and the you know the part of the review um yeah so the killer killers there were three most in well not sure if the cop was a killer but um maybe he just orchestrated it but um yeah there were three i, I would say three so the most in any scream movie basically um yeah and i was expecting the girl and Jack Champion's character, it was it was sort of a, I don't know, it was obvious yet not, but I thought they're not going to go that way because it's just a bit too obvious. Um, and then I could tell it was going to be that ginger-haired girl, can't even remember her name. <laughs> um, yeah, when she said something about, oh, my brother died um, and we moved to New York... As soon as she said that, I thought, she's the killer. She's the killer. And through the entire movie, even when she was dead, I thought, oh, right, okay. Mm. I was hoping, I was hoping that Stu was going to make a comeback. There was a few references in the movie that showed me that they were at least considering it. There was even... I think Jack Chamley's character dies by the TV falling on his head. You know, a, a, a nod to how Stu died, maybe not. Um, but yeah, so, because throughout the movie they're saying, oh, you know, this is an installment in a new franchise, new twists. Yeah, there, there, there wasn't any twists. Not one. Not one. Um, in my eyes be honest other than Ghostface using a shotgun uh yeah yeah 
but as a slasher, it was very good. Uh, so far, one of the best movies of the year in my eyes. Um, so yeah, it was pretty good. Pretty good. Go and watch it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I would give this movie... Mm, 7.5 out of 10. It was better than the fifth one. Better than the fifth one. Um, even that the Sydney was in the fifth in the fifth one, but yeah, this was better. Maybe it was just because they're in New York, and you know New York can be scary for some people, so that goes into the fear as well. It was it was good, and the new characters did a great job as well. Uh, yeah, yeah. I thought when I thought Gail was gonna die, I was, yeah, I was gonna about to lose my shit. Honestly. Um, so I thought they were. I thought they were going to have balls to do it since they killed Dewey off in the fifth one. But they didn't. Um, which was a bit... Oh. Oh, okay. Takes away from that scene. Um, and then <laughs> one of the other characters... I can't remember his name either. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It seems that I'm only into these movies for the kills, it seems. And to see uh, legacy characters back. Yeah, but I can't... I can't think of any of the new characters' names. Yeah, I can't. Um, but yeah, I think the standout from this movie is definitely um, Jenna Ortega. She's the standout. Can't remember who's the actress who plays the main character, the lead actress. Um, okay. She was okay. Um, but yeah, Jenna Ortega is a standout of this movie. Um, she has the biggest... Uh, plot, plot arc, story arc, sorry, throughout the movie, um, and yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. Then at the end of the movie, you think, well, you think that she's going to keep the ghost face mask, but she turns out just to, turns out she just drops it. So I'm not sure if they're going to make a seventh one. Looking at the box office, I think maybe they would, um, and hopefully Sydney returns. Um, even though Neve Camp, I think it was contract dispute or something like that she wasn't in this movie um, but yeah but this movie didn't need her you know it would have been the same with her or without her in my eyes um, but yeah it, it was good um, other than who the killers were because I, I you know I thought the choices of killers were a bit boring and I thought I was just going into that this movie thinking Stu is the killer. Stu is back, and Stu is the killer. But it wasn't. So yeah. So yeah. Seven point five out of ten. Let me know what you guys think. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.